This is the group B, winner bracket, semi-final. The loser drops down to the lower bracket. Obviously, the winner makes it to the winner bracket final against the winner of Int B versus uh, Focus. Lolight versus Shao KK here. Picks and bans for the maps are these two. Echo Isles and Last Refuge. Pretty yeah. obvious, I think. It's the most standard. Well, I don't know. It Last Refuge has overtaken Turnus, right? Mm-hmm. Last Refuge is looking so good for Night Elves recently yep. with the three big camps being right outside your base, easy and safe to take. Whereas in uh, pr uh, previously was always Terranus. So that's the shift we've been seeing. But Echo, yeah, it's so hard for Night Elves. Even though Nicker said it's a 50-50 map, but that seems to be only his opinion. Start, as we said, on Twisted Meadows. And here are your two contestants. Oh. Whoops. We'll get into Twisted in a moment here, guys. Something that I can already tell you is that it's going to be... Uh, one moment here as we fix our OBS. Should be ready in a second. Um, I think we got it now. All right, Neo is fiddling with it. He's going to have it done in a moment. Yeah, we're going to have cross positions. And something that is oftentimes... A big uh, question that you're going to ask yourself as the Night Elf is, are you going to take a risk early, go for a creep, or are you going to play it safe? Because on Twisted, if you get caught out, if you get harassed, with the Blade Master showing up early and the Grunt, you can take so much damage. But Lolliot, he is taking this risk. Okay. Engine of War creep right at the null spot. Lolliot, man, he was struggling so hard with GCS qualifications. The only... GCS that he participated in was the very first one. After that, he was banned because they tricked oh, yeah, him with the yeah, ladder yeah. stuff. So he was banned for one season. But afterwards, he couldn't qualify anymore. And that was quite a, the beginning of his downfall. When he couldn't make it to the World Championships, of course, that's a big hit to your motivation in general. And he always had great results in the prelims. He always had great results in the group stages. But the playoffs, man, he lost to Sini like three times in a row. Sini, uh, Sini, uh, um, of course, a great player in Orc versus Night Elf, so it's not that bad. But usually, a Law Light should be able to beat Sini or uh, uh, other guys of that caliber. Finally, the third and last chance GCS qualifier, Law Light stepped this game up again, dominated the group stage, dominated the Play playoffs there, made it through the winner attack. bracket the entire way uh, without losing a single map into the grand final where it was WFZ that took two maps from him. But in the end, he won that third last chance qualifier. So what can he bring to the table now and what will we see on Twisted Meadows? He is the big favorite on paper in every single vote that we saw online. But are the nerves getting to him? When we saw him in the hotel, he said, uh, I slept very long. I had a good massage yesterday. This is perfect conditions for me. Yeah. And he's just feeling extremely confident against Shao Keke, that's uh, when we've been talking to him, the general feeling that we've been getting. By the way, the Blade Master here was uh, hoping for some harassment to be done. He was moving towards two positions, one with the Grunt, one with the Blade Master, looking for some punishment, but the Night Elf is in the one where he can't get to in time, so now he's going to be forced to go for the little tiny green camp, and it's going to be really slow in terms of experience gain. Of course, his tech is going to be very fast with a one borrow, as we're used to seeing nowadays, Lolliot. Went for the two moon belts, so he's going to be a little behind, but his first hero is going to be pretty fast. And I have to turn this air conditioning down, man. It's so cold. <laughs> All right. If you uh, can't handle it, do so. It, yesterday it was too warm. This time it's too cold. But here's the Demon Hunter trying to kill the shop, and that's a big hit for Shao KK. If he can't get the heal selves, man, what can he do in the early game? Definitely not creep too much. And guys, please let me know if the... Audio is correct, otherwise we'll adjust it on the fly. Engine of War is making his way over to the mercenary camp, and this cancellation seems so, like, not a big deal, but it's really hard for Shao KK to, that, uh, to get something done yet. And I wonder, can he keep the orc busy over here all the time to be creeping up simultaneously? The Ancient of War is moving into position. He's, of course, going to be able to get Mer camp support with his... Oh, but a grunt is moving over there as well, and that's... Pretty much the first time I thought or I saw Shao Keke being really impressive is his early grunt movement. Gathering intel throughout the map, knowing where to strike, knowing where to exploit weakness. And yeah, if Lolite goes for this camp, this can certainly get punished. But he saw that he was getting scouted and so he's not going to go for it just yet. Okay, Blade Master is there. Uh, trying to pull the creeps maybe with the grunt. 
Or he's just waiting for it. This slows down uh, Laliot for sure. So his Demon Hunter won't be level 3 for quite some time. And here we go. Grunt pulled towards the engine of war. And if this building dies, then... The yeah, what can he really do creep-wise? I mean, the Demon Hunter is quite a good tank, obviously, himself. But you don't want to waste all that moon juice. Oh, yeah, that's so painful, man. It's gonna slow down creeping so much. Here comes a Wisp for repair, and he's eating the tree. I don't think it's good enough, though. This, even though this is only a level 1 blade with the 2 grunts, the damage will be big enough to get rid of this Ancient. By the way, we have a proxy war mill for the Orc. Oh, interesting. Is, it, is this the Wyvern already? Shadowhunter second. What is Lolight playing? He's going for Talons, as it seems. A light no though, for him. with the perfect timing a in the main base, wants to know what's coming. If there's a double bestiary on the way, then it's pretty damn sure that it's going to be the uh, Dragon Drop Strat. So far, no tier two, tier 2 buildings excuse me, coming up, and level 2 for the Demon Hunter is achieved with the Archer and the Berserker creeping on the other side of the map. And yeah, he wants to know what's going to be happening here. But with the Shadowhunter coming out, this might be a TP forced with a yep. Hex. But he's gonna make it out. Is this tier 3 stuff by Shao KK? Because he's, he's going for pillage, so it should be headhunters? Headhunters and pillage? What? And peons moving out of the base. Is he tower Is rushing? He tower? Yeah. I would love to see the skill build on the Shadowhunter now. It could be Serpent Wards even after Hex. What the hell is this? And for Lolai, there's Engines of Wind the coming, so it's talent. So headhunters yeah. in general aren't that great. But Foggy, in the Western Qualifier, he was playing against the Great Wall, who was also playing a headhunter build. And it was really, really close on the first map until uh, Foggy got used to that strategy. Lolai may not have seen the warmer, but he saw no tier 2 building, so he knows what's up. Ancient uh, Defensive Ancients of War coming up in the base. But very late. He needs a second hero here. What's the best choice? Beastmaster? It's the Serpent standard? Wars first, man! <laughs> it is actually Serpent Ward. Shao KK knows he needs a pocket strategy because La Light is the better player, and that is so unusual. Huge map and going for a tower push on cross position, man. This is almost unheard of. Beastmaster is coming in for Law Light. He has the double engines of wind up. That's important. But so much piercing damage against the Talons. How is he supposed to keep them alive? Two towers super aggressive. Beastmaster is coming in now with the quilt. He's cancelled the first one. Cancels the second one. That's okay. But more and more headhunters are streaming in. We haven't seen a single mana burn just yet. Did he go for immolation or something? He is level 2. I'm not quite sure what is going on here. First grunt dies. Towers not really close to having come up yet. The Beastmaster though is kind of low HP. Only level 1 though. Keep in mind. Demon Hunter, that's the important one. Cannot afford to lose this hero. Of course, no hex to be worrying about. Gets back to the safety of the Moonwells. We still have three Serpent Wards standing here. But I think so far, Law Light hasn't lost anything. Looks like it. The moon juice is getting low, though. He's using a moonstone to refresh that one. Tower is again being cancelled. Two of them. The Berserker has to be careful, but getting saved as well. The Beastmaster fell against the Blademaster out there. Sorry, I didn't catch that. So the Quill Beasts are gone, but so is the army of uh, Shao KK. Oh, I think he actually didn't use the Mana Burn, perhaps, to be healing more effectively from yeah. the Moonwells. Is that the best idea, though? Here finally comes the first Mana Burn, which is only level 1, so he probably has uh, Evasion level 2, and you so can see all the misses from the Blade Master. He can battle this out pretty well, still has a healing potion in the inventory on cooldown at the moment, however. A few crits may still turn this game around, but now so many talents in this army. He's fading it. Shao KK with a little mistake on the Blade Master movement! But he escapes there, but now the big damage is gone, the Serpent Wards are not there anymore, he's trying to get the Shadow Hunter there, oh the Demon Hunter is so fast, can he staff onto something later, oh he turns around again, Miss Micro on the hero and this could be the end, but no he sees the Blade Master is back, the damage is back and he has to be aware that crits are coming, but right clicks and that's enough for the Shadow Hunter who's down now, can he get the Beast Master back from the tavern, then right click on the Blade Master, doesn't seem like it. These masters is back from the altar a second ago. Can he get the hero kill? Evasion, man. He Battle needs this passes. hero kill. He needs the demon. Yeah. And he needs more. But Wicked he walk just... is quite far away though. And again, he stops moving. Whoa, what a defense by Law Light. And now, Shao KK, what can you do from this situation here? Usually nothing. Usually nothing. This is an all-in cheese play. And it has been held. And honestly... It looked fairly easy. The heroes were, went low, the Beastmaster died, but only level 1 hero, who cares? And yeah, now we're at 30 supply for the Org against 41. And there's only one player with a good army here, and that is Lolias. Exactly, so... 
Talon adept upgrade. He's making sure that he wins this. This might be the last push for Shao KK. With four headhunters, they're not even upgraded into Berserk mode. So they're quite weak, low range, um, not that much damage. And the Blade Master's not level 3, so he doesn't have the damage as well. We have a heal potion, we have an invo potion, we have no clarity on the Shadow Hunter, which might be a mistake. Alright, Moonjuice is very low. The Demon Hunter is kind of low HP, but has a healing potion. He needs to kill this first hero. The only way to win this game. Trying to, praying for the crits, but he can't get him. He's just walking away, and he can't win this man fight. Healing potion for himself, maybe helping him a little bit with a counter healing potion. And the Demon Hunter is just way too tanky. Maybe a surround here with a scroll of speed. Doesn't seem to be able to get it now that Blade Master solo in Vol popped. Desperation play, try to get some hero kills, but at this point the Shadow Hunter might still uh, fall himself. Level one hero down. Level up for the Beast Master. The Blade Master is soon to follow. That's the GG, and the cheese is held. Lolliot with a strong performance here. I love that he went for evasion level two. He's done that before in a match against Infi, where he was playing, um, of course, Warden. Uh, no, uh, of, of course, Demon Hunter with a heavy immolation push. And he didn't go greedily for Mana Burn um, le level 1 with a 1-1-1 one, one, one build or what else was there? Or um, immolation level 2. But he was attacked by so many units and towers that he decided, okay, so much things are hitting me. I go for evasion level 2. And the same thing happens here. It was so strong. There we go. Yeah, I, and this does not bode well for him mindset-wise. Like, does he feel he has to cheese to win a game? I think so. But how many solid cheese strats are there for Org? <laughs> so, yeah. so the Tower Rush failed. We're going into, onto AZ next. That's his map choice. Now... What specialty can you do here? You can decide to be extremely aggressive, skip creeping entirely, skip your shop, tech super fast, buy the circlet plus the dust, go into the Nine of Base, especially if he goes for a one borrow tech, a uh, one moonwell tech, that can be very punishing. But on this map, yeah, then again, the demon's gonna be level two, you can do nothing about yeah. that. Again, evasion so strong, usually, against this. I think he might try to go for the same again. For the same push, because the map is a lot smaller, so the push hits faster. And if he cancels the Ancients of Wind, um, then... Yeah, but you can't do that. It's, it's like behind the moon wells. I, don't, I really don't With think you can reach. Wards? The Serpent Wards may be able to reach, but I don't think he has enough uh, Headhunters in time. Maybe if he does a Tier 1, then certainly, but I don't know. Because... Lolite is going to be extremely on the lookout for stuff like this. I think that's maybe kind of, uh, this is something they talk about in StarCraft a lot. Like if you are prepared too much, you play it too safe, that uh, throws you behind. Yeah. So maybe he should bank on Lolite playing it too safe and just play standard instead. And hopefully you're not going to be, uh, you're going to be in a good position then just playing standard Raider Walker TC and all that good jazz. Because this, if you get to a decent late game stage, is a good map for Raider Walker. Yes. We, we mention it all the time. Wide open space. Um, very hard for the Knight of to find a good position. <sighs> but we'll see. Map 2 is loading up. But we're gonna need a minute or two more before we get into the second game. Do you have the chat open, by the way? My chat tool is not working. Uh, so. Please give us some feedback on the sound again, if it's all right. Otherwise, we will fix it in a bit. Yeah, want to have the best stream possible for you, and uh, we need your feedback a little bit to make sure that everything is working the way we intend to. The favorite is leading 1-0. Now it's the underdog's map choice. And what pocket strategy does he have here? We will see. Here are your players again with Chao KK and Law Lyot, the Korean leading 1-0. We have one Chinese and one Korean in the playoffs already. Let's see who will follow. And as Chad is saying, audio seems to be good. That is nice. That is great, in fact, to hear. So here we go. Second map of the day. Can Chao KK 
turn it around. Of course, he's the big underdog here. Of course, nobody is expecting him to make it through. And as you said, pocket strategy is certainly possible once again. But I would like to see him plus just play standard. It's, I mean, yes, he is, by all accounts, the worst player. But I don't think that he has absolutely zero chances. Especially in this matchup where it seems like when you get ahead as the Orc, you can oftentimes, you know... Um, Reserve all the items for yourself, uh, for yourself, don't give him the invults, don't give him the heal scrolls, get the big army, steal all of his creeps, pin him down in his base, maybe even expand at some point. So I'd like to see him play standard, we'll see what he decides to go for. So far it looks very normal for Lolite here with the Demon Hunter with Engine of War, right at the laboratory, that's what everybody does. Same here, we have a Blade Master, we have a Barracks, I'm just surprised, uh, curious where his shop position will be, so that will be an indicator where he will move from um, the laboratory creep on, and how focused he is on experience, and or if he just snipes the items there, as Focus does, or Fly did yesterday. He needs to do it soon, otherwise it's too late, and by now it seems like he's gonna skip the shop and go for the super duper fast tech. Go for the circlet oh, first into uh, dust probably, attack. and maybe go for the uh, Berserkers in the middle of the map, because there you take very little damage. Perfect lightning shield so far. You should not kill anything, though. This always makes me nervous, man. <laughs> that was so that was close, one. he got one. Oh my god, man. Once again... Oh no, he, he killed it, actually, with the archer. No, he didn't, no, right? He, no, he, no, he didn't. one of them. So, uh, yeah, little mistake by oh. Law Lights, killing the creep with the lightning shield. That's not supposed to happen, but I mean... Uh, yeah, that, that delays his level 2 a bit. The items are also not that great. It's the Gloves of Haste and the Gauntlets. So, Blade Master, what are you doing? He keeps the Town Portal for now. He doesn't have a shop. He's not going for the laboratory. He's going for the shop there. Is it an early contested shop? What does he want to do? I don't understand it, really. And they both want the circlet. They both want the dust. And Lolite is fast enough. Because uh, one of the Wistful Lolite was killed. That's why the first mana uh, Windwalk had been invested. But I think that's a good trade. For him. So good. He also got the circlet there. The blade master is completely yeah. naked. He can't do anything. And Lolite did finally get the level two because he didn't deny the big renegade, only the smaller rogue. And now he can trade so easily here. He's looking for the wisps. There's one back here, but he can't really reach it too easily. The base is open, I guess, but with such a weak blade master. Nice positioning on the wisps there. Can't be attacked by anything. Yeah. Demon Hunter against the grunts now. The blade master wants to kill the archer, but they play a ring around the engine of war, and usually that's not uh, the best way to fight this with the big right hands from the AOW. We do have a stronghold here and farm. Okay, I thought it was a war mill, but no. Are no war mill just yet. And so far, this early aggression has come has been completely thwarted. He didn't even get the archer because he didn't get the dust and it just turned nighttime. If he loses this grunt, it is absolute disaster. But that should not happen. Team Hunter is not able to find the kill with the Warglaives. And they will get back to the safety of their base, but three grunts now and so far zero creeping has been done. This Blade Master... Oh! Four units surround! Almost, though! Ooh, Man. We were talking about Shao KK's grunt control, which is usually great, but ah, uh, just slipping out of that. The Night Elves became so good in dodging surrounds in every single matchup, especially versus Orc, of, uh, versus Undead, of course, but against Orc is working as well. Shao KK now with a little block to keep the Demon Hunter away from the heal self grunt, so they will heal up and maybe going for the Mercenary a Camp now to do the first creep spot attack. of this game. All right, that might be a big item for him. One of his grunts, once again gathering valuable intel, sees where the demon is, knows he's safe to creep over there. Now the demon looking for the rogue on the opponent's side. He's definitely going to get the item, perhaps not the last hit, trying to get that with the grunt. But yeah, what's the big item for the blade match? What's going to be the more impactful one? Nope, Lionhorn again. Lionhorn of Stormwind on the other side. We see the Spider-Man socks. Slippers of Agility for the Demon Hunter, which is plus 5 now for him. Plus uh, good HP with a circlet and gauntlets and good attack speed as well. A well-rounded Demon Hunter, I would say. While the Blade Master is super disappointing. It's very hard on AZ to pimp this guy. But uh, with a little luck, this works out for you. We have tier 2 for Shao KK. Okay, it's a Shadow Hunter again, plus a Spirit Lodge. What? If, if this is Doctors, man, and with status <laughs> traps... <laughs> I'm a big fan of Sassus Traps, so... Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, they're pretty cool. Double Engine of Wind again, but this is so unusual of Shao KK. Why is he playing Shadow Hunter, bro? I don't know. Maybe he likes Hex. 
Yeah, these three spirit lords will most likely know Players which doctor is. Demon here is flirting with the surround, but so far evading the grasp of York. These bastards out, creeping on the other side of the map. Typical Korean play, we could call it, not the uh, heavy harassment uh, strategy that Foggy likes to go for with the tier 2 building cancellation. It's going to be the level 2 for the Beastmaster. Early Hawk online over the Demon. He is dangerously low here. And there is a Shadowhunter right around the corner, but of course he can't here behind the trees. He gets a second pair of slippers. Oh, oh but the Blade he's Master, man, he's right around the corner. Attack. He might be in danger. It's night time, though, and Let's they miss doesn't... each other. <laughs> Ships in the night, right? Right, the Shadowhunter gets some experience here with the Taskmaster, uncontested, but on the other side, Beastmaster is already level 2 with a Sentry Ward, which is of course a great item if you play against the Blade Master. and it seems like it's the usual Raider Walker build here, but, I don't know, zero aggression by Lawliot, he's just going to tier 3, one third done, going for a few talents there, but this is unusual, usually you always play a TC against this, Shao KK, not so much. Maybe he values the healing so much? But you can use it on the Blade Master. Well, you can, but it doesn't do anything. It's just in the air, anyways. By the I way, mean, like, the Shadow Hunter isn't a bad hero. You know it from all the other matchups. Um, hero focus, nice. A lot of sustain through that. And Root Break is here. Okay. Um, but where's the damage coming from if you don't have a Shockwave? Yeah, maybe he hopes that he can keep his Raiders alive better with the, the SH and then the Raiders do the damage against the. Uh, talents, but certainly unusual. All right, next camp here had been taken out by the Night of, and the Sentry Ward sees the orc coming by the little too late. Everything seems to be a little too late for Shao KK this game, or should I say this series, and now even canceling the healing with the Quilbys. We've seen the Night Elves doing this so well all tournament long. This would be a little greedy now if Lolite goes for the natural. That's one way to throw the advantage that he has, and he's going to wisely retreat to the safety of the space. And Moonwell's situation is really good. Three of the four of the, uh, no, three of them are full. The fourth one. Oh, it's okay, we do have the orb of. Oh, not yet actually. Uh, tier three is not finished, just barely. But we're waiting for the tier three to be ready, and then we have Cyclone, and then one. It's only one Spirit Walker. Oh, here, here's the second one. But they're still on initiate. He doesn't even have the dispel upgrade. He's going for it now, but it's a little too late. Going for the siege now. This is the saddest play map I've ever seen. Level 1 with a single skill skull. Not Nothing even a else. circlet, man. Usually, Blade Masters are born with a circlet and he kills the Grand off immediately. Even the Ancient of War here to help in this defense. He may not have yet Master Training yet, but I don't think he needs it, honestly. He has the Orb here. He has almost level 3, but finding that kill, that next one might not be so easy. He already got one of the Grunts. Mana Burn towards the SH. He's out of mana. Now going for the Beastmaster. He is low, but has a healing potion. Gets the Grunt kill. Let's level up for the Demon in the back. And where's the damage? The Blade Master is not up in the air, but it doesn't seem to matter. He's hitting like a wet noodle, man. This is just way too easy. Speed Stroll trying to get something, but he's getting nothing. Well, I guess he killed a, a Talon or two, but yeah. who cares? SH almost finds himself in a surround here. And, wow. That was easy. That was very, very easy for Lawlight. We see the end here. Damn! Shao KK disappointing, man. I know a French Walker 3 reporter who is now a little in tears since he had very high hopes in Shao KK. But haha, there he is smiling, and he said, if I win my games, I will come to the studio. So I'm very much hoping for that. Lolliot in the winner nope. bracket final, he will meet either Infi or his Korean brother. Focus I'm gonna grab afterwards. him. All right. And Shao KK, man, yeah, he definitely looks disappointing. His game plan didn't really pay off. Here is Shun and Snowkiss, the Korean casters. And here is Neo, unfortunately without a girl. 2-0 again. We've seen uh, many 2-0s yesterday. And yeah, this is surprising. I expected more from Shao KK, to be honest. Um, maybe he was thrown off a bit by how bad Twisted Meadows went. And usually he's a little better. Um, and he surprised a lot in the qualifiers, on ladder, on other tournaments against Dreamind, for example. But yeah, maybe also nervousness. It's his first offline appearance since 2009, I guess. So, yeah, this uh, didn't work out at all. 
And yeah, we're hoping for the light to come here. Uh, he does have a break now as Infi versus Focus will be in between. So this is our schedule here. Uh, gotta update that real quick. If you tune in late, this is our schedule for today. Lola had won against Shao KK already. Now Infi versus Focus is next, and we have the winner bracket final of Lola versus either Infi or Focus and Shao KK in the lower the bracket semi, plus a fifth game that will decide the second player for the playoffs, where Fly and Check are already waiting for their respective opponents. This was the outcome that almost everybody expected. This next match will be a lot closer, will be a lot more to discuss, and I think this is a, the highest level of Warcraft that we get in this group. <laughs> we have a winner in the studio. Come on, please take a seat. Thank you. Professional broadcasting here. Uh, this one. Uh, there. Yeah. No, no, it's right. It's out. Okay. Yeah. Uh-uh. Yep. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Lala, congratulations. Thank you, but I need one win. You need one win, yeah. win war. Yeah. Mm. Was it a little bit too easy? Yeah, Shao KK used Shadow Hunter, yeah. so really easy game. <laughs> if he used TC, more hard game. Yes, I think so too. Especially on Twisted Meadows, he came up with the Tower Russian Headhunters. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you saw that? Oh, it's pretty win. <laughs> 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 Why well, use tower? Uh, tower is really bad, I think. I think so too. It's, mm. Especially on a big map. I could understand it if he uses it on a small map because it's faster. Mm -hmm. But on Twisted, I don't know. Maybe he destroyed my uh, ancient of war. Yeah. So ah, yeah. he go tower rush. But I noticed when I go to his base and he... Don't build about this theory and Rashi. Yeah. So it's maybe Taurus. Yeah, okay. And so you're prepared okay, for the one zero. Yeah. 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 <laughs> one zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and second map was also easy. Do you think that Chao KK was nervous or is he just what was it his normal level of play? Oh I don't know. I heard he prepared with a uh, life. Okay. So I think he used normal game, but he played Weird game. Yes, weird yeah. game. I see, I see. Anyway. Do you think Shao KK is better mm -hmm. as, uh, than Orc Worker? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking me? Oh, I don't know. I heard some comments yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, of you against Orc Worker, but... Mm -hmm. Okay, I hope come to again. Yeah. I win one more, or Focus or Infi. Okay. Mm -hmm. who, who would you like to face now? Focus or Infi? Anyone. Anyone, you, yeah. can, you don't care. You I are, have confidence. You, you can beat everyone. Mm -hmm. I will be a champion. You will be the champion. Yes. Okay, and then we'll be having a huge party. And if you become the champion, then I color my hair red like you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Okay. We we'll see, see you after the mm -hmm. next game. Enjoy your break. Just one of the best persons on the planet Earth. Lolaid. And uh, yeah, we go into a little break here before we load into Infi versus Focus. Oh. By the way, uh, the interview is online if ah. we want to show that. We can do that. We, uh, or Remo, took the time and sat down with Lolayet and with Focus, the two Koreans in this group. And let's see what they have to say. Yo. All right. Hello everyone, here's another interview from GCS Winter with Back to Warcraft. Here we have Focus and Law Lion, and today they're gonna have their games and represent Korea. Don't wanna take too much time away from you, so we'll get right into it. So, first question I have for, Lu for you, Law Lion. I'm gonna ask you one question, then him one question, so one okay. at a time. But um, if you have to say something about what he has to say or what he has to say, you can like say something about it, you know? Okay, so first question. Um, why is Focus always so sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> that is question? Yeah, that is question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, because 
I don't like him. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know too much about him? Yeah, of course. Okay. Mm. All right, that, that's good enough. Um, so next question for you, Focus. Um, Lolaid always has different hair color. Now is red hair. Um, why don't you dye your hair? Does your wife not allow it? I just uh, uh, like black hair, buy black hair, because it is. Uh, I think it's uh, it's like a sign of Korea. Korean Korean black, black hair is. Yeah, so. so what do you think about his red hair? Uh, I think it looks like gay. <laughs> 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 All right, so no dying hair for you. Um, next question is again for you, Lolaid. Um, Focus is not living with you in the team house. Would you like it if he was living with you? Do you sometimes miss him? No. No? <laughs> I don't like him, so <laughs> I don't miss him. Yeah, I thought so. You said, that, you said that earlier. He's really selfish. Really selfish? So I don't want to leave him. Okay. Leave him. So, good thing you're living with your wife, I guess. Um, so, next question for you. Tell me, what is he really bad at? What? What is he really bad at? Act. Like, no, no, uh, what is something he cannot do well, you know? Like, for example, he is good at playing Night Elf, but what is he bad at? Uh, what? He bad at Warcraft, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. He's really good at night elf. Today I will show you. No, no, you, you're gonna win. Okay, and same question for you. What is he bad at? In Warcraft? No, no, in general. Mm. Everything. He's bad man. Bad man? Hey. <laughs> okay, nothing too speci specific though. Alright, next question again for you, Focus. Um, you are so strong in online tournaments. Why don't you have the same success offline? <laughs> I don't know. I want to know. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, last time uh, I didn't prepare well mm -hmm. before my match. Uh, and um, uh, I had bad condition. Mm -hmm. but I don't know. I, 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 I think this, this time I prepare well and have good conditions. Okay. But still I'm not sure if I will play good or not. We're going we're gonna to see later. Alright, well, I have a question for you. What does he have to change so that he has better uh, wins on LAN? Mm -hmm. It's easy, but why I tell this point? <laughs> in front of Ah, okay, you don't, want, you don't want him to know. <laughs> okay, it's secret. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can tell us later. Okay. Alright, next question for you, Focus. Um, well, <laughs> he kind of a answered it earlier. Do you some I wanted to know if you sometimes hang out together in Seoul, like just as friends, in, in person. It's, uh, really sometimes. Maybe sometimes one 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 time by three or four months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? Eating. Eating? Okay. Korean barbecue? No. No. Uh, every day different. I I think you sh really should uh, come to Seoul. I would love to. You can you can eat everything in Seoul. Yeah, I've heard. We have to. Maybe you have to organize a tournament, and then we come cast. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> First you win GCS here, mm -hmm. and then you have money, then we can come. Okay, next question for you, Lolaid. Um, uh, you told me earlier that the team house, um, you don't know exactly perhaps how long it's going to keep on existing. What is the plan currently for how long you will uh, keep the team house going? Oh, need to talk with my teammates, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know yet. Maybe the, in December we will talk about this problem. Okay. If finished about Team House, I will talk to you later. All right. And last question here for the two of you. Tell me, focus. How far will he get in this tournament? Mm. 
I think um I think for everyone uh, group stage is uh, most hard. Okay. Uh, so I I think uh, if he uh, win group stage, I think he can into final. Oh really? Okay. And what do you think? How far will he get in the tournament? He will be a champion. Oh really? Uh, he is Simba. That's so nice of you. All right. Showing some uh, friendship towards the end. I like that. I thank you very much, Focus and Lolayet, for your time. I know ah. you wanna. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I know you wanna practice. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, this is the second interview here from Shanghai, China. We're gonna have more coming your way at Back to Warcraft. Stay tuned. All right. That was that was nice. That was very good. Thank you, guys. <laughs>